Welcome back to another video, another beautiful day out here in Dirty Jersey. We got blue skies, clear skies, high of 50 degrees today. That's the highest we're going. But a beautiful day at that. No rain, no snow, no freezing weather. Today I wanted to talk about the three main things that get overlooked on the low rider ST. Things that people overlook, they forget that the bike has or when they're out there looking at the bike or if they're interested in the bike, they don't notice it. They overlook it. Or better yet, nobody tells them. So in today's video, I'm gonna be informing you about those three main things that get overlooked on the low rider ST. Let's start with number one, the USB port. Most all soft tails come with a USB port. It's always gonna be on the left side of the neck of the frame if you come over on the left side of the bike right in front of the tank right here this cap right here pops open i don't know if you can see that on camera or not because the fairing is right here in the way but that's where you will take your usb your charger or whatever it is you are connecting to the bike plug it in there you run it up to wherever you're going to be running whatever it is you have plug in your phone there we go, charging. Such a small little thing, but it gets overlooked so much and not even overlooked, people just forget that their bike has a USB port right there. So you're able to charge your phone, charge your GoPro, charge any type of device that uses a USB. In my opinion, it's a very, very important thing to have on a bike. This is a sport touring bike. So a lot of people that are gonna be having this bike are gonna be touring and doing long miles for example this year i have a few trips lined up i'm gonna be riding out to milwaukee i might be riding up to laconia so what i want to make sure is that my devices are being charged Woo! yes yes she growls. <laughs> All right, let's go to number two. As you're aware, this bike does have a mono shock for the rear suspension. What people tend to forget is that you're able to adjust that preload in the back. Most of the time, people pick the bike up from the dealership and they never adjust the preload on that mono shock to their weight. So depending on your weight, or depending if you're gonna be having a passenger on your bike for the most part, you should be adjusting that mono shock to your weight. It's very easy to do. You could do it on your own and it's quick. Number three, what was it? Number three. Number three. Let's talk about another important factor that this bike has. And once again, I'm going to say it this being a sport touring bike right here because that's what this bike is considered a sport touring motorcycle we have one of the most important things for those long long miles cruise control yes this bike does come with cruise control um i've had several conversations with people in the past i'm like yeah the bike has this the bike has that the bike has cruise control they were like what really i'm like yeah so we got cruise control right here big upgrade that was given to the bike back in 2022 well the year that the lowrider st came out because the lowrider s didn't have it prior to that which it should have but it didn't but now it does so that's what's important. Yeah, we're not sitting around like ducks. People were asking me lately, hey, are you not allowed to uh, split lanes in New York and Jersey? No, we're not allowed. So we do it, yes. 
most of the time if you see me sitting in traffic guys if you see me sitting in traffic i'm not splitting lanes it's because i'm vlogging and i'm just focused on the conversation that we're having and i'm not trying to be all over the place i like to just stay real focused but when i'm not vlogging i'm i'm a different rider <laughs> let's just say that because then i can have my mind focused on just the road and whatever it is i'm doing or want to do but no we're not allowed to lane split sex i don't know why What a joy, what a joy. <laughs> this bike is so nimble and so easy to ride, man. I love it. I don't know if I missed anything. Maybe I missed something that maybe you know about this bike that maybe I overlooked. Maybe there's one thing that I overlooked that you might be like, wait a minute, you missed this. And this is something else that people also overlook on the bike. But those are my top three things, the most popular things that people tend to forget about the bike. We had number one, the USB port. Number two, adjusting of the monoshock on the back. And then number three, cruise control. Anyways, that's gonna be it. We're gonna have a lot of different little discussions like this coming up, guys, going over different parts of the bike. So for those of you who are really interested in purchasing this bike, we're gonna be talking about everything we're going to be taking the bike apart. We're going to be doing a ton of upgrades. We're going to be taking a ton of cool trips on it. So if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And um, that's going to be pretty much it. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Wait. Peace.